Good morning. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Studio's messing up here. <clears throat> Some days I just need help. <laughs> Peggy, glad you ladies are on here today. <clears throat> Starting to show up here. So, Dennis and Deanna. <clears throat> Definitely cool in the mornings, isn't it? Not a good sign. I know it's still getting pretty warm during the day, but. I saw yesterday on Facebook the guy that, uh, the weather guy, uh, whatever, Denver Front Range weather guy or whatever, he posted something yesterday that Denver has only had 17 days this summer over 90. Uh, usually we're at like 50. Uh, usually, and I think, what is it, uh, uh, average 70 some days over 90 or something like that. I don't know, but 17 days, all they've had over 90. Um, Jan, is it supposed to get hot today? Is that, I guess. So it was, uh, still, uh, pretty mild this morning, wasn't it? So get your work done if it's going to get hot. So, all right. <clears throat> a little sweat wouldn't hurt anybody, though, especially me. <laughs> uh, ooh, a hundred. Really? Ooh, wow. Hmm, well, that's hot. <clears throat> I don't think, have we had a hundred yet to, this year? I don't think we've even hit a hundred degrees here. Maybe I just can't remember, but I don't, I don't think so, but... All right, um, <clears throat> I, I know I, I <clears throat> quit talking a lot about the news, but um, yes, we do know how the weatherman is. <laughs> Lies as much as the politicians, doesn't he? So, a couple of things in the news. Um, I, I don't know if it's true. Somebody, because it's on Facebook, so... Who, who knows, but somebody said that our county commissioners are um, talking about some uh, tax increases. Have, have any of you guys heard that? I, I mean, what a what a bowl full of jelly is that, you know? I mean, they, they already are getting a windfall when it comes to the, the taxable value of the homes. I mean, how, how many... How many millions is that going to bring in, in just that, into the county? And uh, they're talking about more tax increases? I mean, it, it, I don't know. Has anyone heard that? I, I don't know if any of you guys are, are friends with these jack wagons. Somebody needs to talk to them and find out. And if they are, we need to recall these characters and throw them out. Um, I, I don't... Uh, there is no reason whatsoever for any tax increases. As a matter of fact, what they should be doing is because of the windfall they're going to get from the robbery on the taxable value of our homes, they, they ought to drop the mill levy and, and uh, decrease that uh, and then take the windfall that they're getting and replace that so that we're not hurt any more than we are. And they could do that. And they take the money that comes in with the with the <clears throat> the value of the homes, and we get a tax cut somewhere else so that uh, everything stays the same. That that is what they should do. And I don't care, uh, it, you know. They they think well, everything increases, and so we need to up the up the cost. Well, y you know what? Welcome to our world, there, guys. And so. Everything goes up, and 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 uh, the salaries don't increase like that. And so, uh, learn to tighten up your belt a little bit. And uh, I don't know. I just find it insane that there would even. Hopefully, that's just a rumor. 
uh, that these guys would not be talking about increasing our taxes in Morgan County. I mean, I just, I don't get it whatsoever. Uh, makes no sense to me. But <clears throat> anyway, that, uh, uh, enough of that rant, I guess. But, uh, and on top of that, those, those three mugs are getting over $90,000 a year. Uh, to be a county commissioner? Come on. I don't know, man. That just annoys me. Annoys me greatly. There are people out there working their tails off for 60000 a year in this county and doing three times the work of those characters. And so uh, $9,000 a year sounds a little bit more fair to me than 90000 But, <clears throat> all right. And then... Uh, the, what what's going on? The, it, it is a little bit scary that uh, we have, um, or, or what we're watching with uh, not just Trump. Okay, I, I really wish I, I I love the policies that he's done. I don't don't get me wrong, and I'd vote for him, and I will vote for him if that's who it is. Then I'll vote for this guy. Okay, but he's just got to figure out how to shut his mouth. And and get on his knees and ask the Lord to help him here, instead of just running your mouth constantly. And uh, <clears throat> just my opinion on that. <clears throat> but uh, what what they're doing, I mean, not only are they going after him, but they they have indicted what eighteen people. I mean, this this is this is what Germany did years ago. I, I mean, if any political opponent, it's it's what Putin is doing today. It's what that jack wagon in Ukraine is doing. And so um, no one runs against you because if you do, you end up in jail or you end up in a grave somewhere. Uh, I mean, that is that is where we're headed here. And, and it's just crazy to see that they are, I mean, the people that they went after, uh, uh, I'm telling you, they... Uh, uh, even a couple of preachers there in Georgia they went after because they stood up with Trump. And, uh, I mean, if you you made any stands whatsoever, yep, they went after you, they indicted you, and they'll try to do their best to bury you. So I'll probably get booted, but that is exactly what the Nazis did. That's exactly what uh, Hitler has done, uh, he did, and that's exactly where we're at today. Uh, it's a crazy day, and we need to be serious about praying that God stops this stuff and places someone in there that will uh, honor God and, and help this country to get to where it needs to be. So, and uh, I mean, fuel. Do, do you guys realize that our fuel, I, I, I get it over here at Cinex. I don't, I don't like loves much at all, but... So I go to Cinex, it's a little higher, but our gas is as high as Steamboat Springs. I mean, Steamboat is, is like California prices usually, and, and, and we're buying fuel here in Brush the same price. Uh, as a matter of fact, it might be actually a little bit higher than it was in Steamboat. Now, what is the deal with that? I mean, uh, come on, people. I mean, we have, our gas prices are over four bucks a gallon. We have increased our our uh, tax on our homes by who knows how much. We got rumors that our county commissioners are getting ready to raise our taxes. Uh, I mean, we're already paying. If you look at it, you're probably giving out about 50% of your income is going to taxes of some sort. Food prices have gone astronomical. Uh, I mean, you talk about uh, board up your chickens because uh, the people are going to be chicken thieves again. <laughs> <laughs> and and you're right, Sherry. I, I mean, our the inflation. Uh, yeah, there, there again, it was on on uh, Facebook. But they said inflation in Colorado is uh, almost fifteen percent. And so, the average uh, uh, family in Colorado over since Biden has come in, the increased cost of living has been over ten thousand dollars a year. And raises aren't catching up with that. Uh, and, and so people are getting behind and it, uh, oh man, <laughs> uh, it's crazy days, right? So 
uh, once again, it reminds me, the answer is not in politics. And yeah, I think we ought to have people involved in it. I think we ought to have good people that will, you you better, if you get in it though, you better have hides as, as tough as rhinos because um, the they're going to go after you. Uh, I mean, there there's some... I saw up in D.C. they're after one of the, I don't know whether he's a senator or a representative, but uh, said that his faith in Christ has uh, made him a, a bigot and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I mean, it's uh, you're in for a battle even in, in local uh, uh, areas of politics. So better be tough. You better know what God's word says. You better stay according to God's word. Don't. Uh, that's you, you, when you get in there, you, you represent the people, but you represent the people in a just fair way and, and, uh, let God be first and foremost in your life. It says this in Proverbs 21, 15. I read this today. It is joy to the just to do judgment and a reward or, and, and but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. So, uh, let, let's walk justly, right? I mean, let's be honest in our dealings. Let, let's be, let, let's uh, delve out true justice and according to what God's word says, you know, and in uh, that justice, I, I, I saw someone um, uh, post something in a remark yesterday about, about truth in, in uh, truth is in God's word. Okay. There, there it is. God, God has, has, made truth, okay? Everything about God is true. Everything about his word is true. There, There's what truth is. And what we have in a society is, is we have people trying to redefine truth by what they see as true. If they think it's true, then it must be true in their mind. It's their perception of truth that matters. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. The, you, you can... You can think the moon is made of cheese all day long and think that that's true and it's false. And and you can go around screaming and yelling that the earth is flat and it's not. And and you can think that and, and let that be your truth, but you're living a lie. And so the truth is the truth and God's word is the truth. And and he has, and he's laid it out for us. And, and that is the truth. That, that's where people are having such problem with boundaries. There, there, there is, they, they've said there is no truth in two genders. We'll, we'll have, you, you, you know, they, they keep coming out with a different number of genders. Why? Because everything changes because there is no truth. There are, there are no boundaries to them. And, and, uh, that's why they hate God so much. That's why they hate God's word so much. And that's why the world hates those who stand for God's word so much. And so, uh, but it, it doesn't change anything. The truth is the truth and it'll always be the truth. And so let God's word deal out the truth and we walk justly according to the truth. And so nothing ever changes on that. And so let us walk in truth. Let us walk justly as it says. And it is joy to the just to do judgment. And so we're not, we, we, you know, people always say, oh, you're just judging me. No, I'm not. God's word does. God's word makes all the judgment in my life, in your life, and everyone else's life. God's the one that is deemed what's sin and what's not. God is deemed what's right, what's wrong. God is deemed whether you're male or female. God is deemed whether, uh, you know, what you're doing is right and, and righteous or, or not. I mean, God is the one that's, that has dealt with that and shown us, and we need to live according to the truth, right? So let's be that and let's represent that, whatever we're doing, right? And so, and and don't get veered off with with what everybody is yelling and screaming. And boy, they can get loud. And they, and if they if they're banging on their drums, doesn't get enough attention, then they burn cars and then they burn down buildings and and intimidate people and scare people, just like. In Nehemiah, I mean, you you had you had Sanballat and and Tobiah. This is amazing to me. I, I read this today too over there in Nehemiah. But uh, it's amazing. Sanballat was the biggest bully and tried his best to kill Nehemiah. And Tobiah was the same way. And then you find out that 
that these people that, that Nehemiah was leading, these Jews, backstabbing mongrels that they were, find out that he goes back to the king because he had to go back for a while. When, well, when he comes back, he finds out that they've given a place uh, in, in, in the city, in the temple of God, they've given a place for Tobiah to sit. And he had tried to kill Nehemiah, and he had tried to stop those guys from building the walls and putting up the gates. And then you find out the high priest had had married some girl, I think, of Sambalat, and had made all kinds of friends with them. And, uh, uh, hey, I'm glad for Nehemiah, he threw them out. And so, and he said, you try to come back in here and you will die. And I know he meant it. And then he shut up the gates and, and he told those guys, he said, if you ever try to sell uh, uh, worship services on a Sunday, you're going to die. I mean, there there's right and there's wrong. Always has been, always will be. And, 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 and Nehemiah was one that stood for the truth. Well, we got to have that kind of character today. Yeah, we, we have to, have hides as thick as a rhinoceros. I mean, we have to have the 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 tenacity of a pit bull. You know, you just have to uh, stay focused. And and this is what it says in in twenty one sixteen Proverbs twenty one verse sixteen: The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. I mean, and, and you think, well, that can't happen. Well, it did to those people. I mean, they let Tobiah and, and Samblat into the temple that they had tried to destroy and thought that they were friends. And, oh, <laughs> well, nothing changes, does it? Human nature is the same, just uh, different generations, maybe different geography, but, and that's why the devil never changes his, his, uh, uh, devious ways because they've always worked and, and people don't pay attention. And so let's, let's pay attention and, and do what's right and let God show us what the truth is and, and, uh, do that. And so, uh, that, that's, a some of the first thoughts that I had. And, and then I saw this in Psalm 34 and it really, it goes along with this. It goes along with how we ought to live. In, in Psalm 34, here's the question that's posed. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? So who, who wants to live a good life, right? Who, who wants to go out and see good things? Who, who is it that, that desires this kind of life, right? Well, we all do, right? Well, then he goes on and he says, well, here's how you do it. Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Guard your tongue. Guard what you're saying to others around you. Depart from evil. Get away from those characters that are trying to drag you down. And and instead of doing that which is evil, then do good, seek peace, and pursue it. I mean, those are the, you want a peaceful life, then seek peace, right? And, and I, I don't, uh, I mean, these are, they're really rather simple things, right, that we can do, but the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open under their cry. So let's let's stay righteous in our walk and, and be what God wants us to be. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. I, I mean, think about it. Those characters that right now, and, and we don't know, we don't know what, what's righteous and, and what's true and in some areas, but God does. And those that are not doing the righteous thing and, and, and they're doing evil, then they're looking God right smack in the eye. He is watching everything and he's standing in front of them as they're doing these things. And the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You know, one of these days, they're going to be long forgotten and, and they'll be destroyed and, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And so, uh, how good is that, right? The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. You know, we, we um, I don't know, may, maybe we need to have uh, 
instead of uh, the fighting spirit that we have, and this is talking about me, all right? My devotion, right? Maybe instead of developing so much on the fighting spirit, spirit, maybe I need to be working a little bit more on the contrite spirit and the brokenheartedness of what we're seeing happen in this country. I mean, my first response is anger. I get mad at what's going on. But instead, maybe it ought to break my heart to see these people thinking that this is, what, this is going to bring you joy when, when you stand up against God and, and try to lead people against God? I mean, it, it's a sad day, isn't it? And, and, and let us not. And many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of all, out of them all. How good is that? You know, and he keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the souls of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And those are the promises that God gives us. Let's, let's walk faithfully and honorably with him and find him to be everything that we need. And, and then the last thing, and, and I know, I, I know he under, I know he means, means good on this. I was social media yesterday and, this guy brought up some stuff about how to say no, and, and uh, almost like the idea that everybody uh, out there can't say no, and that you're being used and abused too much, and you just have to figure out how to say no. Well, I I understand. Good for him, you know. Good good for that. But all you're doing, I believe, in this society today. Um, I, I don't see too many people having a hard time saying no. I, I have uh, more of a problem seeing people uh, being willing to say yes to anything. I mean, we've we've become so self-absorbed in ourselves and 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 selfish in ourselves. And God's word is just the opposite. I'm sorry it, the, the for the society out there that thinks that it's all about me. It's not, not about you at all. It's all about God. And it tells us this, 1 Corinthians 10, 31, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God, right? And then it says this in verse 33, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many that they may be saved. You know, let's let's get off this idea that we, we have to be so self-focused and so much self-care. Uh, you know the best way to, to for self-care is quit focusing on yourself and focus on others and focus on how God wants to use you to make a difference in somebody else's life. Quit being selfish. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop thinking so much about yourself. Okay? <laughs> God has created you to serve him, to glorify him, and so glorify him with your body and your soul and your mind and your spirit and walk with him and make a difference in other people's lives. And, and you'll find out a lot of your problems will go away. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's. Uh, it's Wednesday already. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Uh, come on out tonight. Uh, if you're in the area, we pray together, we study the Bible together, we uh, fellowship together for a while, and then we go home. And and uh, so come on out. And, and uh, if you're in some other area, get to your church tonight, and hopefully they have something tonight. And, and uh, be encouraged today and tell somebody about Jesus today. Be bold in your faith. Be bold in your walk. And and we'll just find God to be uh, everything that he says he'll be. Let, let's look for the good life, right? So God bless you guys. Have a great day.